Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Um, I promised in the last goal setting tutorial that we'd talk about coping planning. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, also, it hopefully give you a little insight in what the kind of things we might try and eke out and talk about when you book a 30 minute um, helpline call. So firstly, what is coping planning? Um, so what this is, it's about actively identifying things that might stop you despite the best laid action plans that you've hopefully done, still achieving those goals. So this can be things like um, time, money, whether people in the yard are riding at the same time or not, motivation, stress levels, family commitments. It's completely unique to you. Um, one way that you can really help identify what these things are is by goal monitoring. It's proven I'm on so many things, I'm on medicine and health, exercise and dieting, and obviously sports people, that monitoring your goals is one of the easiest ways to identify the things that are stopping you. For example, I um, talked about time management and motivation. So you might do your goal planning and see that actually if you tend to ride after work, by Thursday, Friday, you're, you're really tired, it's the end of the week, you're feeling a bit guilty, you want to get back and make tea for everyone, so you, you don't ride, you just put the feed in, you go home. So you'd identify that and part of the plan would be then that actually I'm going to try on a Thursday to ride before work and Friday's going to be his day off because I need it too. And it's about putting these things in your plan and being realistic about it and most importantly, taking the time to put these things down on paper. And you'll actually save yourself so much more time and be so much more productive by taking the time to think about these things and write it down. Don't forget to write it down. This is proven to be so much more effective than just keeping it all up here. OK, money is a big one. Um, I think with horses especially, we just we don't really admit what we spend on the horses. But it's really important if you've got a goal, especially if it's sort of a training or competing goal that's going to cost money or perhaps you want to go on that party holiday and that's what you're building up to, um, that we do identify what that's going to cost. Your subconscious mind will, will know if these things are possible or not. And if you're not honest about whether it's achievable, you will be stopping yourself. I've recently been really honest. I sold two young horses. Um, in order to be able to put more time into funds, which is my older horse. Um, I didn't want to do it, it wasn't an easy decision, um, but I've probably for the best part of three years now, I've been mumbling along and not accepting the fact that I know I can't afford them all. And actually feel so much better about actually being truthful and now being able to push forward with my plan. Um, Perhaps you don't like riding in the school with other people and you know that if you get to the yard and other people are in the arena, you're not going to ride, you're going you're gonna to go home. You know, put something in place, talk to people. Hopefully, as we talked about, you're in a nice supportive yard, you can explain what's making you feel anxious. And if you can't, then, then you need to address that situation for a different reasons. But hopefully you can talk about why you're feeling anxious and then you can either set aside a time for yourself to ride or you can just find out when other people are riding and avoid those times. Perhaps you could ask someone to just be there um, for half an hour to just help from the ground. Be confident to ask for what you need. Write them down, identify them. We're going to talk about another thing which can stop you achieving your plans. And this is whether your beliefs line up with your goals. Um, but that's a whole other topic in itself. So I'll save that to next week. For now, let's start putting our coping planning into our action plans. If anybody wants to take advantage, we're offering a free 50 minute online helpline call, which you can book through our Facebook page. If you want help going through any of these things, identifying things that might be stopping you achieving your goals. Perhaps you're sitting there and you're thinking it's not really that obvious to me. I just don't feel confident and it stops me. And if you want to talk through these things, we're here. Please like and share our Facebook page and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon.